like tinted moisturizer. Where have you been all my life? If you like this video, please hit subscribe. One of the best discoveries that I discovered this year was tinted moisturizer. I personally hate wearing foundation. I also hate trying foundation. I find it hard to match my skin. Tinted moisturizers are more forgiving. You can blend them more. So if it's not an exact color, it's okay. So I put moisturizer on my face in the morning anyways, so it's not an extra step. It's not like I have to spend an extra 10, 15 minutes putting on something I don't normally wear. I love wearing lipstick and I have pale skin with like blotchy redness. So when I just wear lipstick, it kind of brings out the red blotchiness and it looks weird. But if I put a, you know, some tinted moisturizer on, it looks like more of a finished look. I tried out seven different types of <laughs> tinted moisturizer. Um, Smashbox Halo, Perlis. Uh, Bare Minerals, um, Tarte, Physician's Formula, and these two, um, Marcel Sheer Tint and It Cosmetics CC Cream. Now I would say out of all of these, the two best ones were It Cosmetics CC Cream and Marcel. Basically these other high end, higher end ones didn't perform better than the CC cream. This one's kind of thin, um, the Bare Minerals one. It would be great if you had like freckles or something that you wanted to show through the mid tinted moisturizer and not necessarily cover it. A plus of this one is that it comes in a ton of shades. So if you have skin that's hard to match, definitely check this out. And also if you just want something just less slight, like maybe add a slight glow, like you're not looking for coverage or color correction. Um, this would be good. And these three, I found they pretty much performed the same. They're kind of, they weren't overly thick, didn't have over, like, didn't, the coverage wasn't that great. The other drugstore brand I tried was this Physician's Formula. It only comes in two shades, um, light and medium. And I tried a light and it's just a weird shade, like very orangey. Um, there's no way that they have a product that matches my skin if the lightest one doesn't. So if this matched your skin, I could see it being good, but for me, no. But it is less than $20. But if you're looking for something on the cheaper end, use, use this one, this one's great. It Cosmetics, the best if you're looking for a higher end. So the other four higher end ones, I tried Bare Minerals, Tarte, Perlise, Halo. These are all over $35. Um, if you're gonna spend that much, I would just go with this. This is pretty pricey, it's about $50. This is Canadian money, um, but it's worth it. You only need to use a little tad amount, so it's arguably that this probably lasts longer and I'll end up buying it less than if you use this every day, which is less than $20. Um, but I might have to replenish this like twice as much as this because you really don't need a lot. It's very easy for this CC cream to put too much on actually and have it look weird. Um, I would say the only downfall to this one is that it actually might have too much coverage. It might look like, it does look, definitely look like you're wearing foundation or something where this one does look more natural. The only thing I don't like about this is the smell. It smells like cheap drugstore liquid foundation, like the kind you would shoplift when you're a teenager and stick in your purse and it would explode all over your purse. The smell does go away. You can get it at Walmart or Shoppers, less than $20, I think it's like $17. Um, Definitely good if you want to get into the tinted moisturizing world and don't want to spend $50. I like to wear this more day to day. Um, like if I were to see someone in person, I like this because it looks more natural where this one definitely looks like you're wearing something. I wear this pretty much for all my YouTube videos. So in my YouTube videos, I'm usually wearing this one. The shades are like pretty broad. Like this one is called Creme Beige. 
and you know it looks like it's not going to be the right color and then it blends in perfectly i was thinking of doing a youtube video where i try out all of them but i found that some of them just look the same when i put them on my skin in front of the camera so you couldn't really tell so that's the video for today if you liked it please hit subscribe so Frankie and I are going to, going to do a series of YouTube videos to see if lipsticks transfer on you. Mwah. That one passed. If you like this video, please hit subscribe.